My name is Leon Chen, and welcome back to the Gigabyte and Motherboards Bricks channel. Today we're going to be talking about our Z170X Gaming 5. Now we're going to be doing an uh, unboxing and overview for you guys to look at. So we'll look around the box first, and then we'll lay out what you get inside. So right off the bat, you can actually see we have Kerrigan from Heroes of the Storm. Now this is actually a limited edition Gaming 5 board, so you're going to get some different things inside as well. Now, to start off, this board, the Gaming 5, is actually using a Z170X, uh, uh, sorry, an Intel Z170 chipset. It supports that LGA 1151 socket, which is good for Intel 6th generation core processors. It has DDR4 support, as well as the USB Type-C connector, which we'll show you guys a little bit later, and also USB 3.1 connectivity. So let's go around the back and we'll see what else this board has to offer, and then we'll open it up. So right here on the back earlier, we were talking about that USB 3.1 connector. So we actually, Gigabyte's actually one of the only manufacturers out there using the official Intel chip that supports USB 3.1. So you can actually see for USB 3.1, the standard is 10 gigabits per second, but we have a bandwidth of up to 16 gigabits per second overall. So we, we'd like to call it the extreme USB 3.1. It has, of course, the Type-C connector, and we also have, with all of our gaming boards, our exclusive amp up audio technology. And since gaming is such focused on network and social uh, and going online, we have, of course, the killer NIC, as well as an Intel NIC for those of you guys that have some preference between the two. We also have amp up audio technology that has a removable op amp, high quality capacitors, noise guard and trace path lighting, USB DAC ups and of course gold plating on a lot of the connectors in the back and also solid capacitors for the board itself and then dual M.2s, a turbo B clock chip and also a stainless one piece stainless steel metal shielding for the PCI Express slots which you'll see a little bit later as well. So let's open up the board and we'll lay everything out in front of you so you guys can see what comes in it. Alright, so now that we have everything out of the box, these are the items that you're going to get with this board. For the Z170X Gaming 5, you're going to get its user manual, you're going to get a multilingual installation guide, an NVIDIA SLI bridge, four SATA connectors, and of course there's two of them which are right angle connectors and two which are straight. And then we have a G1 Gaming badge for your case, and also a G connector, and then a padded I.O. for you to use for that rear panel. And then also the driver discs that come with this board. Now, for this board earlier, we showed that it was actually for Heroes of the Storm, and you actually saw Kerrigan on the cover. Now, we, for this one, we've actually included an additional Heroes of the Stor Storm door hanger, so you can actually let people know not to bother you if you're playing games or doing, trying to focus on the computer. We also have a pamphlet right here that introduces more information about our Heroes of the Storm sweepstakes. So you can click the link here, or you can go to the site or scan the QR code to find out more information about our Heroes of the Storm sweepstakes. You have a chance of winning mice, headsets, and other cool prizes from Gigabyte, and even a trip to BlizzCon 2015. So let's get these out of the way, and then we'll talk about the board and all its different features that you can find on it. So right here, earlier we were saying how this board is supportive of that Skylake platform. So it's using a LGA 1151 socket. It has four DDR slots for you to use. And of course this is dual channel as well. The ATX24 pin that everyone's familiar with. And right next to it you actually have an OC button for quick overclocking. And also an eco button if you actually want to downclock the system and save some power as well. And then a debug LED port right here so you can actually troubleshoot if you run into any issues when you're trying to build your system. We also have two USB 3.0 pin headers. So you have more USB in the front panel for USB 3.0. And on the Skylake platform Intel actually natively supports three SATA Express connectors, so you can actually see, including this block right here and the two SATA ports, this is one SATA Express connector, and then we have another one and another two right above it. So that's a total of three overall. <clears throat> right below that, we have our front panel pin headers, and 
That's where this G connector comes in. Earlier we brought this up as well. In the box you actually get a G connector which allows you to connect all of your ch chassis pin headers into this G connector. Now I said into because it gives you that lower Z height overall. And also the clips on top of the G connector allow you to remove it easily by just pulling on one of the cables that comes with the chassis. So you can actually remove it easily as well. So that's one of the nice uses of a G connector. We also have two additional USB 2.0 pin headers as well as a TPM pin header. And then we have COM ports. And then also this one right here is actually for Thunderbolt connectivity. So if you actually have one at Thunderbolt 3 onto this board or Thunderbolt 2, you can actually do that with an add-on card and Gigabyte provides these cards um, additionally. So definitely check out our site or some of the retailers or resellers that you guys are, are looking at buying a Gigabyte motherboard from. We, and right next to that, we have our front panel audio. And of course, with Gigabyte Gaming Motherboards, we have our exclusive amp up audio technology. So with that in mind, we have high-end audio capacitors as well as in the audio noise guard trace path lighting right here that you see. And this board actually also supports a removable op amp. So this removable op amp actually allows you to modify the characteristics of the, of the audio that you get from your board. We also have gain switches here so you can switch between 2.5x to 6x overall. Now, earlier we also showed you guys that this board has one of the cool features that you guys are seeing this time around with Skylake, and that's our one-piece metal uh, stainless steel metal shielding you see right here. Now, this metal shielding does one of two things. It actually helps to protect your PCI slot from ripping out when you're actually moving your computer around your house or if you're bringing it around to LAN parties or events. The second thing it does, it, it actually helps prevent any um, ESD interference if between the card and the board itself. These stainless steel metal shieldings are actually anchored and grounded at four points of the PCI Express slot. So that's one of the useful features that it has. Right above that we also have our Turbo B clock. Now the Turbo B clocks for users that are more advanced in overclocking, they want to mess with your base clock, they play with the multipliers and they want something that they can have stable speed at. The Turbo B clock allows you to actually modify your base clock uh, away from your traditional straps of 100, uh, 133, and 167. So aside from those, those frequencies and 5% ranges around those, you can actually go from 90 all the way up to 200 now. So definitely something to check out if you guys are trying to overclock your system and get more perf performance out of your CPU. We also have two M.2 connectors and these dual M.2s can actually be rated in, so you can actually do a RAID 0 to increase your performance even more on top of what you're getting. These M.2s operate at 32 gigabits per second, which is quite a lot faster than your traditional SATA connectors, which only operate at 6 gigabits per second. So that's useful. And these M.2s support the 80 millimeter length. So if you want to use a longer M.2 and get more storage out of it, you're more than welcome to do so. Now overall for this gaming board, it has a great look, it has all these different features. It also has different a, a lot of fan connectors for you to use also. And we actually included a CPU optional fan. Now that's great for a water pump if you guys are using liquid cooling or closed loop liquid cooling because this actually allows you to set it at 100% speed all the time. So that basically sums it up for the front of the board. Let's swing around to that rear I.O. to see what else we have included so you guys can actually learn more about this board. So overall for the rear I.O. we actually see that we still have that PS2 connector. Now I know a lot of you guys aren't really happy with that, but it's definitely something that some users prefer to use, professional gamers mainly. They like to use a PS2 connector so they have better and faster response time overall from keystrokes. We also have two USB DAC ups. Now the DAC up ports, these ports are unique in the sense that it has its own power grid. So if you aren't using that PS2 or if you guys are audiophiles, you guys like to do any DJ mixing, the DAC up ports actually allow you to have a cleaner audio signal overall. So some gamers like to use it because it's better for their keyboard or mice. Definitely something to try out if you guys want to do any type of competitions as well. Right next to that, we are our USB Type-C connector. Now this Type-C connector 
is of course again powered by that official Intel chip that we were talking about and it supports different functionalities and protocols from audio uh, video to audio video power delivery data transfer all of these are done through this port right here next to it you see a very familiar standard a connector but in red and this red actually represents that it's a USB 3.1 connector so this is a 3.1 in a standard a so gigabyte is actually looking out for you guys that are looking for backwards compatibility you want to be future proof with that type c connector but you also want to have the ability to connect to a standard a port a usb 3.0 port gold plated hdmi ports if you want to use that onboard hdmi connector and then also a display port as well and then we have two additional usb 2.0s as well as two more additional USB 3.0s. And above those, you have your Intel NIC as well as your Killer NIC. So depending on the preference of which one you want to use, you can definitely choose between the Intel or the Killer NICs. And then you have your gold-plated audio as well with the SPDIF right there. So that basically tells you all the things that you guys need to know. If you guys are looking for more information about the motherboard, definitely check out our site at gigabyte.com and look for our Z170X Gaming 5. Um, Thank you guys for watching this video. Definitely subscribe and share, like it with your friends. And if you guys want to see more videos, this was actually requested by one of our viewers. So if you guys want to see other videos, please feel free to let us know. And we'll try to make some time to do a video for you guys on those. Thanks again.